Welcome back to Flyers Pre-Game Live presented by Yingling Lager. And we all know how passionate John Tortorella can be on the ice coaching his team. We see it every night. What many don't see is how passionate he is about helping animals, his biggest philanthropy effort. We go behind the scenes with Torts at Paws Animal Shelter, talking hockey and talking hounds, of course. This will actually be our hound of the week next week. This is Gucci. Can I and pet? Yeah, you sure can. I love it. Oh. Is that next week's dog? This is incredible. What a wonderful surprise. <laughs> All the places we've been to and when we've been dealing with the shelters, we have such great friends because of it. So it's a really cool community when you're dealing with animal welfare and, and just trying to help. So we're very fortunate to have an opportunity. 10, 12 years ago, I had no clue until my wife and my son brought me to, it was during some lockout during season or a strike or something, and we went to the shelter out in New York. And I saw what was going on there. That's when it really was, it, it, it just, I had no clue what was going on. Organizationally, you've said how for some reason this Flyers team organizationally just does it the right way. You've been so many places. What's look at this. Yeah, look what we're doing here today. I'll, I'll just speak on, on my family's behalf. My, we've been, I don't know how many teams I've been fired from. I've been, I think I've coached five teams. But, and, and really good teams, really good organizations. But I, I just, where we're at now, I, I just see how this organization take care, it just looks out for families, uh, the charity work that's being done. Uh, teams do it, uh, sometimes, you know, because they think they have to. I know in Philly, in, in, in our office, and Cindy, right on through the whole group there that, do, that does all this work, they care, and you can tell they care. I talked to Jonesy and, and Danny after games and, and Dan Hilferty, and they talk a little bit about the crowd. I, I don't notice it. I'm you're just so locked in. Notice? I don't know. I just don't. It's so, it's and that's certainly not a disrespect to the fans coming. But th that, you know, that, that, is, that is something in my mind that we want to change. We, we, I remember coming here when I, I remember the playoffs when I came here with the Tampa team back in 04. And even, even after that, the way this building was. And um, if we're taking steps in the right direction with people coming, that's great. We, we have a ways to go. Uh, there's no one to blame for this in the situation the team has been in here other than us. So we need to figure it out. We have to be dead on with our game if we want to continue to survive. And um, we're going to try. Uh, we're not going to get ahead of ourselves. I, uh, I refuse to, uh, I, watch, I watch the team, and I won't name the team, I watch the team sign a big name player that's just started their rebuild and kind of change their thoughts about how to do it. We, we need to go each and every step. And it's not about signing big names, it's about developing our own. I just made a great trade in a 21-year-old right-handed defenseman, full of skill, perfect timing. We gotta keep on building our own, and maybe a couple years down the road, that's maybe a look at free agents, but we gotta do our own work with our guys and, and our draft picks and continue to gain those assets to keep on building this team. So is the expectation, the goal this year, you can't say, oh, you know, I just wanna get into the playoffs. You, you, you're getting nothing out of me as far as expectations. I am not speaking on that. I, 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 my expectation is, and I told the players this, come to work every day ready to go. I said, I don't want you to come here thinking about just getting through practice. I want you to practice the right way. That's all we can do. And everything else will take care of itself, and it'll take care of the speed of the rebuild, too. And there's going to be some people probably upset come trading deadline, too, when uh, we have to make some moves here uh, because of where we're at in the process. We've had conversations, Jonesy, Danny, and I, and you do. You, you, you almost get a little emotional about it because we, we, we're, we're talking about people right now, you know, as far as where do they fit, you know, age-wise, contract and all that. And what I, in that meeting, what I'll say, I said, we just can't fall in love. You, you can't because it, it, if you do, it, it, it's going to set you back. It, it, and we, we've got to look at the organizational view of how to do this. And so... Uh, you, you'll be friends with that player, you, you know, if, if you like him that much, you're going to be friends and you're going to care about him the rest of your life, but there has to be, there's going to be some tough decisions coming along here, so uh, we've got to be really careful not to let our emotions get in the way of making the proper, proper decision for the team.
And uh, I think we got uh, two or three guys in Dan Hilferty, Jonesy, and, and uh, Danny that understand that.